Hey everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to today's episode of Baby Name Sunday. Oh my goodness, it is the very final episode of 2020, which is totally insane. I hope you guys had an absolute amazing Christmas. We for surely did. Let me just tell you, we have Barbies, animals, we have everything to spewed all over the house. So today I'm filming in Zayla's room. Today's video is going to be a list of names that you guys sent in of your favorite names. Of 2020 whether it's just your absolute die-hard wow worthy names or maybe some names that you came across in 2020 that just absolutely floored you there will be a ton of options and then also in the top corner where I normally put the name right underneath the name I'll actually give a little bit of a shout out I'll just give your guys his first name just for personal reasons and privacy and if you are a namer I will have your Instagram handle as well if you guys haven't already subscribed man please hit the subscribe button we have a ton of fun over here with a bunch of different name content also over on instagram i'm always uploading on there it's at baby name sunday i'll have that also linked down in the description so without further talking let's get into my very final name list of 2020. all right so to start off the list i'm going to start off with a name combo first and middle name of actually one of my viewers daughter's name and i found it was just so beautiful so it's the name aurora violet spell a-u-r-o-r-a -R -R -A, and then violet v-i-o-l-e-t they're actually both latin originated names and they both together mean purple dawn. Next one here, I'm totally not surprised. It's the name Solaris, spelled S-O-L-A-R-I-S. -S, and this one's also Latin originated, but meaning of the sun. Moving on to another favorite on the list is the name Romy, spelled R-O-M-E-E. -E. Now this one I've seen quite a few different places. Everybody's been loving it, but not too many babies are actually being named this. So this could be a definite potential option in 2021. And Romy is actually English, German, and Dutch originated, meaning rosemary. Next one here on the boy side now is the name Holton, spelled H-O-L-T-E-N. It's actually a habitational English name, meaning homestead or farmstead. Unisex option here next is the name Salen, spelled S-A-L-E-N. Salen's actually derived from the actual word name sailing, so like a nautical name but I switched it up a bit and did Salen and I thought it was just so cool and I'm so glad you loved it. Another unisex option here I have is the name Renan, spelled R-E-N-N-O-N. -N -N. Now this one's an English surname. It was kind of hard to find any information on like the actual meaning, but it could be derived from obviously Ren, spelled R-E-N, which is a Japanese originated name meaning water lily or a lotus. Moving on to a handsome name on the list. I have the name Ambrose, spelled A-M-B-R-O-S-E. And this one's Latin originated meaning immortal. I can totally see this just making its way. It is just so handsome for a boy, Ambrose. I love it. This one here, I can totally picture it for a little girl, but it can go for either way. It's the name Denali, spelled D-E-N-A-L-I. Now this one's a mountainous place name, actually a Koyukon, so Koyukon, originated name meaning the great one. Next one here was actually one of my favorite names and it was actually Davian's favorite name that was sent in and it's the name Oath spelled O-A-T-H. What a cool word name. So obviously it's a word name meaning a solemn promise. I added a few names also in here. So one of my favorite names of 2020 has to be Calix. So C-A-L-I-X. I literally just mentioned this on a video recently and I could not could not have it on this list. So it's Greek originated, meaning incredibly handsome, or it's also Latin originated, meaning chalice. Now moving on to Davian's absolute favorite. And honestly, if we had a second boy, if we ever were to have another baby, this 100% would be our boy's name. So the name is Kenji Mars, spelled K-E-N-J-I, and then Mars, M-A-R-S. So Kenji is actually a Japanese originated name, meaning second son. And Mars is actually the Roman god of war. So we have our son Ares, which is the Greek God of War. So Roman God of War, Greek God of War, this name is just all for us. Back over to one of my favorite names here. I have the name Pharaoh, spelled P-H-A-R-A-O-H. Honestly, I don't even know how many times I've mentioned this name. I am obsessed. I think it's so perfect. It would be my girl's name. Oh my goodness. It's derived from a Greek name, but also an Egyptian word meaning great house. I have the name Zanara, spelled Z-E-N-A-R-A. -E this one's a modern play on the name Sanara, meaning light, but it also could be an Australian Aboriginal name, meaning gift of God. Moving on to an absolute fan favorite of 2020, and that's the name Dove, 
spelled D-O-V-E, completely unisex, but this is a bird name and this bird symbolizes peace, which I believe that this is the one of the greatest names I feel for this kind of section of our life and moving on. We just want peace in 2021. Next one here, I have the name Royal, spelled R-O-Y-A-L. This has been one of my favorites of 2020, and that is obviously a word name meaning king or queen or royalty, regalness. Floral name here next is the name Lavender, spelled L-A-V-E-N-D-E-R, and that is obviously the purple flower symbolizing devotion. Then I have a place name here next. It's the name Cairo, spelled C-A-I-R-O. It is the capital of Egypt, and it's actually an Arabic rooted name meaning victorious, but it also has some associations to meaning Mars. A really fun one here is the name Roscoe, spelled R-O-S-C-O-E. It's one of my favorites on the list. It's Old Norse and Old German, meaning deer woods. I have the name Noah, but spelled N-O-A. This one, for the girl side, I've really been seen up and coming. It's used in the Hebrew Bible, but it also means motion. I have the name Ever, also for a girl, E-V-E-R. Super gorgeous. It's a really fun word name, meaning always. Then along with Cairo, I have the name Milan, spelled M-I-L-A-N. This one, it just has this romantic sound, whether it's for a boy or for a girl. Milan, I just love it. So it's a major city in Italy, but it's also a Slavic originated name, meaning gracious deer. Next one here is the name Oka, spelled O-A-K-A-H. This one is a modern play on the tree name Oak, which I've also seen a ton of different variations of Oak kind of happening. You have Oak, Oakland, Oakley, and even Oaks. Then we have the name Banks, spelled B-A-N-K-S, or Banksy, B-A-N-K-S-I-I. I've seen both being used and I think it's just so fun. Hilary Duff and Matt Coma's daughter, her name is Banks, so I can really see this up and coming. It's an English originated name, meaning edge of the water. Then for another floral name here, but this one's a little bit more vintage, it's the name Marigold, spelled M-A-R-I-G-O-L-D. And this particular flower symbolizes creativity and passion. Another floral name that kind of sounds vintage along the same lines as Marigold, is the name Magnolia. So I can totally see those two really going up in the charts, especially in the coming years. Then I put the name Shiloh, spelled S-H-I-L-O-H. This is just a dreamy name to me. It's a biblical place name and it's a Hebrew name meaning tranquil or just peaceful. A Greek mythological name here on the girl's side is the name Athena, spelled A-T-H-E-N-A. -E so this is the daughter of Zeus, but it's also the Greek goddess of wisdom, handicraft, and warfare. Another place name more on the girl's side is the name Essex, spelled E-S-S-E-X. -S -S -E and this one, you can do that nickname Essie, which everybody is loving. And it's an English place name, obviously, meaning East Saxons. Moving on to a gorgeous L ending name. I have the name Vivielle, spelled V-I-V-I-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And this one's a modern play on the names, more like with the Vive, Aviva, meaning life. Another absolute fan favorite alongside Dove is the name Aura, spelled a-U-R-A. So this one's Greek originated meaning soft breeze, but it also could be a word name meaning someone's energy, someone's aura around them. Switching it up a bit back onto the boy side, I have the name Iverson, spelled I-V-E-R-S-O-N, Beyond Handsome, you can do that nickname Ivar. It's Old Norse originated, meaning Ivar's son, and Ivar actually means you would. Next one here is the name Velvet, spelled V-E-L-V-E-T. Honestly, this was our recent found name, and I just am just in love with it. I feel like it sounds so regal, so royalty, but it's a luxurious word name, meaning soft or velvety fabric. Next one here is the name Posey, spelled P-O-S-I-E. I've seen a bunch of different spelling variations for this one. One, and it's an English name meaning bunch of flowers. This one here is another floral related name. It's the name Salix or Salix, spelled S-A-L-I-X. You can really pronounce it either way. And that one's a Latin floral name in the Willow family. A cool Hebrew name I have here next is the name Zevi, spelled Z-E-V-I. I really hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's supposed to sound very similar to Levi, but this one's Hebrew originated meaning deer. Another one here that was actually sent in twice is the name Everest, spelled E-V-E. E-R-E-S-T, totally unisex. It's a place name referring to the world's tallest mountain. Another name combo that was sent in, I couldn't leave one behind. So it's the name Winslet, 
W-I-N-S-L-E-T, and Monroe, M-O-N-R-O-E. So Winslet's actually an English place name, meaning Wind's Channel or Wind's Stream, and Monroe means Mouth of River. So they both have significance about rivers, nature names tied together. Stunning feminine name here next, it's the name Maria, spelled M-I-R-E-Y-A. Now this one was so beautiful, it's Spanish from Latin originated, meaning admired. I have the name Wells, spelled W-E-L-L-S. This is also a really big fan favorite right now. It's a surname from a place name meaning spring. Then we have the name Evander, spelled E-V-A-N-D-E-R. This one had to be on the list. It's probably one of the most loved ander ending names and it's Scottish and Greek originated meaning bow warrior or strong warrior. I have the name Arella spelled A-R-E-L-L-A beautiful name with that Ella nickname and it's Hebrew originated meaning messenger of God or angel. Moving on to something edgy I have the name Knox spelled K-N-O-X this is also one of my absolute favorites for a girl you can do N-O-X just like the goddess and Knox is actually a Scottish originated name meaning round hill. This one here, very rock and roll, is the name Zeppelin, spelled Z-E-P-P-E-L-I-N, and it's actually a word name for an airship or a blimp. I have the name Rumia, spelled R-U-M-I-A. I think this is so pretty, nickname Ru, nickname Mia. Oh, this is so sweet. It's Japanese originated, meaning beauty, the ocean, and love. Next one here sounds very similar to Isla, but it's the name Eile, spelled I-S-L-E-Y. Now it's German originated meaning blacksmith, but I've also actually heard this name being pronounced as Isley or Eile. So either way, both of them totally work. We have the name Amari, spelled A-M-A-R-I-I. -I. You can do just a single I, but I love the double I with this one. It's a modern kind of Hebrew name, meaning eternal. Then we have the name Kaya, spelled K-A-I-A. -A. Too funny, because Kaya sent it in along with someone else, so it wasn't just you, but I thought this was so cute, so beautiful. It's a Latin, Scandinavian, and Hawaiian originated, meaning to rejoice, or Earth Mother. I have the name Carlota, spelled C-A-R-L-O-T-T-A. -T -T -A. You can do the nickname Lottie for this one. I thought it was just so beautiful. It's an Italian form of Charlotte, meaning free man. To switch things up a bit, I have a boy's name combo here. So first and middle name. It's the name Galileo, spelled G-A-L-I-L-E-O, and then Ru, spelled R-U. So Galileo is an Italian originated name, meaning from Galilee, but Galileo, we all know, is an astronomer, which I found super, super cool. It has a scientific appeal to it. And then Ru, spelled R-U, is actually related to a metallic element of platinum, which is also kind of scientific vibes. Another boy's name here is the name Alvian, spelled A-L-V-I-A-N. Yes, Ella, you did this one well. I love this one. It's Hungarian rooted, meaning elf friend. Then we have the name Pippa, spelled P-I-P-P-A. Honestly, I asked Davian for this one for our girl's name, actually for Zayla, and he's like, no Heidi, but I love it. It's English originated, meaning lover of horses. Now another popular kind of Southern charm girl's name that was sent in a couple times is the name Navy, spelled N-A-V-Y. Now you can spell this a few different ways now and it's actually a color name but it's also a word name as well. We have the name Adonis spelled A-D-O-N-I-S. It's actually Greek originated meaning Lord. Then we have the name Ewan spelled E-U-A-N and this one's Gaelic originated meaning born among the yew trees. Now moving on to a celebrity baby name that this baby was just born not too long ago. A little girl named Rumble Honey spelled R-U-M-B-L-E middle name Honey H-O-N-E why I think this is so cool. Rumble is a word name describing a deep sound, like a rumble. And honey is a sweet word name, but also a term of endearment. So rumble honey, you have my heart. Moving on to another oak name. It's the name Oakland, spelled O-A-K-L-A-N-D. This one's an English place name, meaning land of the oak trees. Then for a futuristic Z name, I have the name Zari, spelled Z-A-R-I. And this one's a gorgeous Persian name, meaning golden. Then we have the name Holden, spelled H-O-L-D-E-N. Now this one was sent in a few times, so I feel like this is one of the top 2020 favorites for you guys. And it's actually an English original name meaning hollowed valley. Next one here, a word name is the name Creed, spelled C-R-E-E-D. So it's a word meaning a religious faith, 
Then we have a vintage favorite, and that's the name Edie, spelled E-D-I-E. -E. And this one's an English name meaning prosperous in war. Now speaking of word names, let's throw in another. I have the name Knight for a boy, K-N-I-G-H-T. Now this is so cool. Medieval word name, Knight in Shining Armor. This one here was sent in from the mama because her daughter's name is Elowen, spelled E-L-O-W-E-N. Now you can do W-Y-N as well, depending on your taste, and it's a Cornish name meaning Elm. Now to switch things up a bit, I have another word name here next and this one is totally new to me. So thank you for sending this one in. It's the name Spade. So S-P-A-D-E. Yes, Spade. So it's actually derived from an Italian word name meaning sword, which is so cool. Another medieval aspect sounding name. So this could really go with knight. Knight and spade for boys. Imagine. Back over to the girl side, I have the name Fina, spelled F-I-N-A. Super gorgeous. I believe she's either naming her daughter this name or it's already her daughter's name that's already been born. It's one of the two, but congratulations. It's a Scottish name meaning white and fair. Moving on to my next name on the list here. It's the name Olympia, spelled O-L-Y-M-P-I-A. This one was sent in from one of my absolute favorite mamas, New Time Mama, over on Instagram. She's also a namer. You guys gotta go check her out. It's a Greek name, meaning from Mount Olympus, which is the home of all the gods. Next one here is the name Kaluna, spelled C-A-L-L-U-N-A. -L -L this is so great if you want that nickname, Kali, or nickname Luna. And Kaluna is actually a floral name from the Heather family, and this name is actually Greek rooted meaning beautifully. I can't go through this list without mentioning the name that I would have named Ares if he was a girl and this is the name Starry, so S-T-A-R-R-I. Now I had fun with this and put an I at the end but some of you might do the Y at the end just like a starry and it obviously symbolizes a starry night sky. Another word name that a bunch of different variations for spelling have been coming about and this is the name Journey, so J-O-U-R-N-E E -Y. And this one's obviously a word name, meaning going from one place to another. Back onto the boy side, I have the name Bode, spelled B-O-D-E. This one's really cool. It's a Dutch-German name, meaning for a messenger. Another boy's option here, actually one of Davian's favorites of the year, is the name Kepler, spelled K-E-P-L-E-R. It's actually a German occupational name, meaning hat maker, but also it's a surname of a German astronomer. Another one of Davian's favorites is the name Tulum, spelled T-U-L-U-M. So this one's obviously a city name, a very small, I want to say village or town name along the coast of Mexico. Just absolutely gorgeous. And the name Tulum actually means wall, which is referring to the Mayan ruins that surround the city. Another name that both Davy and I absolutely love is the name Ender, spelled E-N-D-E-R. The meaning is so amazing. It's Turkish originated, meaning very rare. Moving on to a vintage color name is the name Crimson, spelled C-R-I-M-S-O-N, and it's a rich, deep red color name that actually was used very frequently back in the early 1900s. Another place name that actually came about and kind of became a little bit more famous is the name Zealand, spelled so Z-E-A-L-A-N-D, and this name in translation means from the sea land. I have the name Stellan here next, S-T-E-L-L-A-N. It's a Swedish name meaning calm. Then we have the handsome name Montgomery, spelled M-O-N-T-G-O-M-E-R-Y. Now that one is a long name. I think it's so handsome. So it's a Norman originated meaning manpower. Switching it up a bit, this is a beautiful girl's name. It's the name Alula, spelled A-L-U-L-A. -L -L it's Arabic originated meaning first leap. Then we have the name Haven, spelled H-A-V-E-N. And she actually sent it in for a boy's name, which I thought was just so great. Imagine Haven for a little boy. It's a word name meaning a place of safety or refuge. Another girly L name, it's the name Lua, spelled L-U-A. I think this is so pretty for just that short and sweet three letter name. It's Portuguese originated meaning moon. So it has those celestial ties to it as well. Another name here more in that gender neutral category is the name Derby, spelled D-E-R-B-Y. It's English originated meaning park with deer. Then we have the name Lior, spelled L-E-O-R. This one's Hebrew originated meaning I have light. All right, we're getting down the list here. Number 82 I have for you guys is the name Harvest 
spelled H-A-R-V-E-S-T. It's a word name meaning gathering crops. Then another fan favorite on the list I have is the name Zayan, spelled Z-A-Y-A-N. I actually have never heard of this name, very surprising because it begins with Zay, which is my daughter's beginning of her name. And I thought it was so cool. It's actually an ancient name meaning beautiful and graceful. Number 84 on the list here I have is the name Kalea, spelled C-A-L-E-Y-A. -E now this one was actually kind of tricky to find any information on, but it could be a variant of the name Kalea, but spelled C-A-L-E-A. -E I feel like it probably is, and that one means lucky one, and it's also a floral name. Next one here, perfect for the season, is the name Jovi, spelled J-O-V-I-E, and this one's English originated, meaning cheerful and jolly. Then I have this beautiful name that I've never heard of before. It's the name S-V, spelled E-S-V-E-E. -E. This could be a really great alternative to some of those E names that are out there. And this one's a modern invented form of EV, meaning life. Celestial word name here next is the name Moonlet, spelled M-O-O-N-L-E-T, and it means small moon. Then we have the name Phoenix, spelled P-H-O-E-N-I-X. I think this is such a cool name for either boy or for girl anyone i think it's just so awesome it's a greek mythological bird that rose from its ashes symbolizing rebirth another greek option here is the name lyris spelled l-y-r-i-s it's actually the name of a small stringed instrument referring to like lyre or lyre l-i-r-e then back over on the boy side i have the name kedrick spelled k-e-d-r-i-c-k -E this one's super cool a great alternative to kendrick this one's old english meaning kind and loved a few last ones on the list here, I have the name Madden, spelled M-A-D-D-E-N. This one can totally work for either gender, and this one's Irish originated, meaning little dog. We have the name Seven, spelled S-E-V-E-N or S-E-V-Y-N. I've seen it both ways. It's obviously a number name, but also has a lot of biblical significance because the number seven is the number of completion or perfection. Then we have a surname inspired name here. It's the name Mercer, spelled M-E-R-C-E-R. -E -E Again, boy or girl, I think this can work for anyone. It's a French occupational name meaning merchant. Number 94 on the list is the name Nola, spelled N-O-L-A. I think this is so sweet. It's Gaelic originated, meaning white shoulder. Then we have the name Rockwell, spelled R-O-C-K-W-E-L-L. -L. This is also one of my favorite boys names. I'm so glad someone sent it in. It's English originated, meaning rock spring. Number 96 is the name Every, spelled E-V-E-R-I. I think a lot of you guys will absolutely love it. It's a play on the word name meaning everlasting. Then we have the name Stevie, spelled S-T-E-V-I-E. -E. I've seen this move on over to the girl side so much recently, and it's a short form of Stephanie, meaning garland or crown. Last three on the list here, I have the name Beckham, spelled B-E-C-K-H-A-M. And this one's English originated, meaning homestead by the stream. Then we have the name Tempo, spelled T-E-M-P-O. This is like a super cool, edgy music musical name, meaning rhythm or beat of the music. This name could totally work for any gender. And then that brings you to my very final name on this list. Oh my gosh, this amazing list of your absolute favorites of 2020. Last name here I have is the name Lennon, spelled L-E-N-N-O-N. -N -N. And this one's Irish originated, meaning lover. So that is it with this video. I hope you guys loved this best of. Let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorite was. Obviously, Obviously, I have a few of my favorites, but all of these names, it just comes from such different places. You have some that are kind of popular, you have some that are quite rare, some really great options and alternatives to more of the common ones right now. I just think this was such a great variety. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you've had an amazing holiday season. Take care again, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next year with another Baby Names List. Bye.